Coming. Coming to Twitch. Greatest outcast landing. Greatest outcast landing. Cringe introduction, but how's it going, folks? Greatest outcast here. Got some Starfield going in. All right, all right, back in it. I don't know why I'm so excited. Last time was an epic failure. I mean, we uh, we, we were walking around, um, realizing that I couldn't fly my Falcon ship. But um, we we did things. <laughs> we 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 did things. We moved around. But this this time, we're gonna make progress. Okay, I promise. I remember now we did a radiant quest and I was kind of like, of course. But hey, you know, you know, it's all good. It's all good, because I'm gonna come in here now with the real gameplay. So what we're gonna do is play until we level up. Once we level up, then we'll go to uh, the sacrifice. Yep, that's right. I said the sacrifice. I had to sacrifice a piece of my dignity to get my pilot B, maybe even pilot A, if I'm greedy. But right now, it's it's bad business. It's bad business indeed for said events. But before that, let's go crazy. Let's you know, let's find some adventures out here. I'm ready to go right now. Actually, no need to say BRB. Let's start this thing. Oh man. So, I believe we're in uh, Kiwi City, right? Ah, yes, we are. Since we last left off, uh, Andrea, what are we doing here? Is something amiss? Yes. Uh, do you have any idea what we're doing here? You know that uh, I'm the leader. Yes, of course. Of course, some questions. I already asked them. All right, I'm All here. right then. <clears throat> This is taking out the piece. I'm uh, here for a reason. Actually, no. There is no thing Bitches is mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely mad about the damn map in this game. Only one good thing about this is you can see the quest right here, no problem. But look at this map. Trash. But I hope you're doing good, Toxic. Check in. I think this is the, uh, the ranger thing, which we're not doing. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Just in some Starfield. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into this game. I'm trying to feel something, Mr. Krabs. But uh, you know how it goes. So what is that? So here's the thing. Can highlight it, but we can't click on the mission. And travel to an unknown location, like what? The mission, it's right there, man. Alright, I think I'm going the right direction. Maybe. Screw this, hold on a second. I'll, I'll just have to do some uh, extra work here. Checking with Yoni Alpha. Alright. So, Yoni Alpha. Probably in activities. Do you see how many quests I have up here, too? I mean, uh, missions. Look at this. Dude, not even Skyrim had, like, this many like shoved in my face. Uh, okay, I I don't I don't see who I was who I was looking for. See, this this type of shit. <laughs> this this type of shit right here. You don't play for a few months and all of a sudden you're lost. You you just you're lost. Don't know where to go. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so long as their depths. I'm in depth. I said I pay like 125k, I think. What the hell 
Tennessee. It's a gathered honor. I ain't no damn minor. Quit that job. This is crazy. Like, I mean, you can literally see the mission on the map. But I can't find that name in my quest. I'm losing my mind here. All right. But let's not ruin this now because of the map. Let's just keep it going. But, uh, today, we're pretty much trying to... Uh, right here. Actually, no, not even that. Yeah, no, right here. I want to be flying the Millennium Falcon. I want to be flying the Enterprise. I want a big ass ship. Filling it with a whole lot of people. I want a full ass crew. Can't do this shit with no C, uh, C class. See, I don't know why this game is five times harder without like something telling me where to go. I mean, you know, exploration is exploration. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, never really had the chance to look around this place. I think I dropped in and dropped out before, but now looking at it, it's okay. I mean, you know, it ain't, ain't nothing crazy, but I can see the detail. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh, geez. Just Ethan handles all the orders. Just be safe, all right? I gotta talk to you before, though. That's for sure. No refunds. You don't like it? Don't order it again. <laughs> okay, Angie. You got a badass over here. Not a thing. Not a, not a thing at all. That's, uh, you know, that's some highly detailed toast, though. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Ah, uh, yes, Aggies. What? I have spent far too much time here. I do not recommend it. What are you talking about? I was just there. Big spike the food. Also, we need to change the drip. We already were this last episode. Before. I don't think I've worn this before. For the other options. Let me see, that would be nice, but it's too easy. It's too easy. No, why not? With the, with the helmet, maybe. Nah. I, I like to show people my uh, creepy ass eyes. Goddamn uh, ultra light blue eyes. Did I? I was so scared. Oh, the, the bank heist. Running right. into a bar. What? I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? Go to the Red Mile. Oh, wow. Once again, guard security giving us quests because of their talk. Classic with this. Please don't bring up the alien extravaganza. What? Dad keeps saying he's sorry all the time. It's weird. Well, why are you saying sorry, man? What's up? Every time I feel queasy asking for help, I remember Liv. I was here before it's talking to me. It's got to get better, right? I don't even remember these folks. That's crazy. I'm out of here. What we're gonna do, see now I'm already distracted. Anything going on here? What we need to do is oh oh Yes, yes actually. This is actually perfect. Alright. Instead of farm, so probably on the planet, but like outside the city. I'm okay with that. 
ill for a cup of coffee. Dialogue's so cringe. Yeah, our constellation crew. Uh, I'm the only one doing any work like, once again. I mean, the whole business of with Neon and Walter was just like, wow, I'll set up the meeting, but you need to take care of security. You gotta make sure uh, you have a backup plan. You gotta bribe the guard. I'm just gonna sit back and let you go to work. And after all that, Walter still got most of the No way. Well, whose ship is that? Yo, who's this? See, now that's what I'm talking about. See this? Now, this is a ship. Damn. Ah, damn, free start. Trying to make them join their uh, Avenger gang. I'd say like the, the outfit's like seven, but them shoes though, give it a good uh, 8.5. Alright crew, let's get it. Only guy wearing the suit in the ship, bear suit. Sam, my have to pick you out the ship. That sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. I didn't invite it's you so your kid can read haiku. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a haiku. Thank you, Jets. Thank you, Jets. Carrying us home. Hey, man, that sounds like you. Oh, no, no, sorry, can't hear you. I have two minutes. That sounds like catnip. You know how you lose things. Rich. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Combinating Bunny. Oh, I just like that Sarah's farm. On the same planet, would you look at that? All clear. Time to land this ship. Oh shit, yeah, very tight. Got it on him. Sorry about that. Just turn down the desktop audio. Oh yeah, what's that out there? You, you see that? Yo, what the hell is what is that? I'm kinda scared you got this ship. I'm, I'm kinda scared. I don't want to get off the ship now. Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. I was looking outside. I was looking out in the window. Holy shit, look. Hey, yo. Is she? You have no suit on? It's cool, okay? Hopping them one at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is anyone alive here? What's that noise? Okay. Is anyone alive here? I, I don't need to bring out the uh, the shoddy. Oh, oh, look at that. What is that? What is that? It's a level one. What the hell? Dude. I don't trust. I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't want to shoot it either, though. I think we'll be fine. It seems like a safe creature. Okay. 
Oh my God, there's another one. Oh, oh. This is dangerous. I can't believe it. I should have seen that shit coming. I should have seen it. Should have seen it. Nope. Got bamboozled. Where's that son of a bitch at? In your cage? Where even now? Nasty ass creatures. No eyes having that ass. <laughs> Alright. Something in here. Just making sure I had it had to be ready. Okay, what's in here? Oh, what's the cap at anyone? Let's, uh, you know, let's take a peek on that. Oh, I can't even read it. Nice. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Talk Literally. to Frank about Sarah's world. Talk to Elias Ray. So you say I'm caring too much? Yes. Yes, I am. Hey, Andrea, where you at? You're talking about me carrying shit. Yeah, you're not here. They carry my burdens. What happened? Kind of dark there. Where'd she go? Sp spring. Are you serious? Come on, it's from the jetpack jump. My weak ass bones. All right, fine. You know, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see. Um, the modders later on. I think it probably already is something like this, but uh, survival mode. That shit must be pretty hilarious in this game. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, wait, we didn't even read the will, too. This is Sarah's uh, uh, Sahar's last will and testament. It's many pages long, but the most important part is that she names Blake Adwell as a primary heir. Apparently, he was an illegitimate child of one of her sons. Oh, Blake Adwell. So, what's the what's the quest telling me? What's up? Found the will. It revealed the it was the it was one of Hasavov's left. There was, there was one Hasselhoff, oh, there was one Hasselhoff, Blake Adwell. I was hired to deliver this to Eli's Carpenter, but Frank Langston may be interested in the will as well. And so I have a choice, okay. How did this quest start up? I, it's been too long. Doesn't matter how it started up, we're gonna finish it. Wait, hold on, is it, aren't they on the... Oh, I'm even asking. Sometimes, I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Yeah, no Excuse kidding. Excuse me, what? What the hell? What's, what's everybody doing up here? My, this is the cockpit, alright? Captain Noon. too much. These weapons are definitely taking a kick on the way. Uh, 
Yeah, we can put some of y'all away. Six damage. That actually says six damage. What is this? A rare rifle? Put that shit away. Nash, um, hmm. Med the ch chance that humans drop extra med packs on death. That's a pretty badass uh, perk right there. Perk. That's a pretty nice little, little extra little uh, extra perk. I, I'll just call it perk. This is 270. A knife is actually 270. See, that's what I'm talking about. 0.40, that makes sense. 270, yeah, no, no, we're good. I guess I don't need an extra one away. Nah, I can't touch anything else. Is ammo weight? No, nah, ammo isn't weight. Ah, uh, but aid though, I bet you, I bet you. Let me, let me scroll down. I didn't see any ones or, oh wait, I saw one. Ah, damn, damn. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, honestly. For eight minutes, you know, we gotta keep it. So that's already a, a massive one. Thirty, sixty, ninety. Yeah, it's time to time to get these foods. Look at this. All ten. You talking them? Right, it's definitely that. Um, geez. I wonder if it's okay storing it without a with a Bethesda game. I'm like. Don't we need like a refrigerator? <laughs> uh, oh, I might as well just eat this now and then. Alright, let's get out of aid. There's nothing really there, but I think it's uh, resources we really need to look at. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. There we go. Oh my god. Alright, so what's the ship looking like then? 473 to 594. Captain's locker. This is the locker. So wait. Am I not putting stuff in my locker? Am I just putting stuff in the Crimson Fleet? Is that what I'm doing? That's what it seems like. Space doesn't matter. Oh, there it is, max capacity. 118, not bad. All right, folks, let's kick it. I need to, we need to see the uh the a two folks who can pass the letter to if you find any addition any at all I will be your friend of like forever I can't sit down there we go yeah we're gonna uh, see the two folks first and then we'll get a you know give a good guess who we like actually give it to who is paying more crates <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Where are we going back here? 
Oh, oh, see. See, this is the shit right there. So we're literally on the same planet. We just have to. <laughs> just have to fast travel like this. Okay. This city is so large, yet retains a sort of rustic feel. I, I wouldn't say, you know, it's that large now, you know. It's Welcome okay size. It's okay size. Okay, so these two are far away. Uh, You're looking for a side all right, we need or to or talk or to them to see, to see who, it's, who to give us to. Alright, so go left. The early settlers here were quite practical. Oh, actually behind the door. Oh boy. Thanks, man. Anyway, why are you running? Well, what's up? Yo, citizen, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are people running? What's wait? What's going on? Hold up, hold up. Yo, 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 no, no, wait, why, why are people running? Hold up. Yo, everybody calm down. Uh, what, what's, where's the action at? Hey, you shipped that landing not too long ago? Sure is something. It's kind of trash that I took from pirates. So, you know, say what you will to that. Why are people running? Why are you running? No, like, dead serious. Like, why are people running? Holy shit. Those bombs. Okay, game. Uh, uh, don't they have it? Hmm. Alrighty then. Uh, someone in your basement, I could. Turn this into ah, oh, there it is. There's the downstairs. Jumping the gun already. Ugh, I didn't expect to kill a city to be so. No, it's fine. Cut you lying. But uh, let me uh, let me get that quick save and see who you are again and whatnot. <laughs> so you sold three pickups today? What? Yeah. Might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you need to wait for the contract to be signed? <laughs> this ain't the UC. We shook hands and the deal's done. Should have the contract signed tomorrow. My cousin works for Deimos, and he says the approval process for a big deal can take months. This man. That's life under the boot for you. Business keeps going this good, and it'll make dealing with these pretentious corn jerks worth it. I don't know, I might need to give it to the other person. Have a future if everyone's fixated on the path. Aquila City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. Oh, wow. I come here offering business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. I mean, you did something wrong. Well, what did you do? What's going on? I'm a senior vice president. Cut my teeth with mineral acquisitions for some of the pricier things we need for the ships. I was really, really looking forward to having my own region to manage. But now... Down the dumpster. In the trash. They should be courting Hotet, not insulting you. How dare they? That's right on the money. Yeah. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City, and I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here, so I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. Uh-huh, okay. God damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen, I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. What are you, what are you talking about? Like, are you saying this place is cursed? 
The previous owners are clearly the ones to blame. Maybe you should try and back out and get a new place. Yeah, what's the history? That's just the thing, isn't it? It's not really. All the manors on the core were built by the founders. What? But this isn't some sort of sacred ground, right? It's just housing. And the owners before some nobody third tier family. <laughs> but it's mm. the core. <laughs> like I care. The core. Sound like some, uh, some some cult activities. But yeah, maybe we should get a new house, man. And give them the satisfaction? <laughs> Never. Thanks for hearing me out. Hope you have a better day than I've had. Yeah, like yeah, don't you want like a will? Doesn't sound like uh, you care all that much whether people like you or not. Hmm. You're damn right I don't. In fact, I almost Sigma. Feel sorry. Sigma tactics. Bunch of wrong headed, judgmental, backward looking dust wranglers. That's what these people are. Tell Every em. credit I spent on that house, I made with honest hard work. Tell I've come here to make my way, and this is how they treat me. I how can dare tell they? they're all hoping I sell and move out, but the hell with that. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and stick it to them all. Make them suffer. Make him suffer, that's right. Hallelujah, amen. See, I want to say this. Let me let me back out first. It was good to talk to someone civilized. Alright, let me let me save it here. I'll bring it up. Aquila City yeah, I got a, has I got to a be the worst. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hassanov. You mean the family that owned ah. this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. 10,000 credits? Oh, we. Whoa, 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 whoa. It seems Frank understands me very well. You're Brian as Eli said you'd be. I think I'll hold on to it. Suit yourself. But there's no way Elias Cartwright or any of those other core snobs will offer you let anything. Let me see, close. let me see. I wanna I wanna let them cook. I wanna walk over there and see what they say. Okay, so we got 10k over here. That's I really like it I was, here. I was I just, just close to saying, yeah. Wish the people in the city. Okay. Let's, let's talk to the to the core folks. We need to be smart. We should be on our guard if we venture outside the city. The Ashta are quite formidable. The Ashta. Tell me who are, who are they? That's like the second time you mentioned them. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hasanovs never sat right with him. Hmm. All right, so we've got an option here also. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I got the will. She left everything to an illegitimate uh, Hasanov, uh, Blake Adwell. I mean, do this first. You got it. That's wonderful. But Blake, old well. Wait, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. Uh, uh, I don't expect Frank's gonna take this lion down. No, he won't. But this ain't neon. We've got real laws here in Nikola City. You've more than earned this. Oh. You've done the city a great service. How much? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh, they funny. No, they're actually funny. Okay, okay. 2,500 credits. Yeah, no. We're gonna load this game back up. So, uh, <laughs> Frank, 10K, am I correct? I believe I heard a 10K. Andre, if you say anything, I'll be very mad at you. Don't this judge me. Will never have a future. Who the who? Wait. Oh, hell. Don't judge me. Elias Carp. I got a business proposition. No questions asked. Here you go. You're a smart one. If you can just tell Elias or whoever that you didn't find anything, I'd be very thankful. Exactly. Look at that. 10k. Really? Got anything to say? Mm -hmm. Yes. She don't care about no wills or deeds. All right. Bruh. I can't. I can't believe we just got credits like that. So easy. Look at us. Money. I'm in the 50k range now. That ship is really ours. Just... That ship is Wait. ours. Uh, poor, uh, poor whatever this family is, you know, it's sad day indeed. So close. Oh, one second. Let me get that boost in. Oh, uh, nah. So with these jets, it's like, if they don't charge up all the way, even if it's like, you know, two-thirds of the way through, it won't count as a pool as you know, charge jump. As soon as it's done, though. Woo-wee! Look at him go. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I lost like I said, it. Be careful. I'd rather you I wish my granddad was still with us. I went to the farm. To the no will. Never... Ah, hell. Pardon the language. I knew it was a long yeah, shot. Yeah, bad business. Well, you risked your neck, and I couldn't let you go away empty-handed. Thank you. So you're telling me if I actually did the job for him, I get paid less than actually not giving the world back. I just got paid 10k and I got 5,000k. I got a three, I got three extra k from the guy not turning it in. What? What? Where's the, where's the logic? Where where where's the logic in this? It ain't making no damn sense. I right, thank you. Yeah, I'll take it. Right. I, I don't know. But uh what, we, what I do know is that we need to get our level up. So let's let's get going. Check out more of these. Uh a merchant and airships in the Achilles system up oh, for You might have something here. Marco Jansen moved to Achilles City and has been he's desperate and hoping to contact his wife's cousin, Melina Ax Axelar. Okay, yeah, all right. We're just gonna see where she's at, right? Probably around here. Ah, oh, look, there she is. There she is. Somewhere. Yeah, she's over here. I guess we just travel. Hello? Nani? Oh, is that her? I think that's her. Oh, sure. I'm just getting screamed by little four ships. That's sad. Get to it, Dad. I promise. This ain't my getting to it. Just keep 
it sounds way, way too relaxed and shit and that bad. This is life and death we're talking about. So she's definitely on the corner, right? Or she's somewhere. I'm not sure what the community mask means. Holy shit. I'm trash at combo. I'm actually bad at combo. sound like a grasshopper out here. What is that? Here we go. to die. Please help. But there's that level up, so we can actually go do what we need to do. We to go. I say quite further on, but the whole power comes. Yeah, I'll, I'll forever not understand what that noise is. I don't know if it's like on my end or not. I apologize. Holy shit, I need, I need some help. I'm hurt. God, I can't escape that noise. Imagine finding the Crimson Fleet winning and then you turn around hitting debris and then just blowing up. What a way to go. Sorry, I'm just trying to test something out. Back in business. All right, so yeah, lesson learned. Any ship we uh, take out during in our combat, well, not even in our combat. As soon as you take out a ship, you gotta just collect it because getting after this now is kind of like, Too much work. I mean, look at this. Ugh. Just passed it. Come on. Oh, hey, there's the money. Don't oh, need the money. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome to board. Oh, well, yes. Is there. Can I just board from here, please? You ain't gotta make me travel. <laughs> Saved her life, so hopefully, you know, she'll be cooperative. Solid docking job there. Nice work. 
Thank you, thank you. I'm quite proud of myself, honestly. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. What do you? Oh, okay, no, that's. I thought, I thought she was on J for a second. You, you two have the same hairdo. Where's she? At? Yeah, look, the same hairdo. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought somebody else. Here, yeah, wake up. doesn't get the juices flowing you're doing it wrong huh? it's supposed to be safe around here but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me oh, <clears throat> unless you're in with it in which case oh my god I love what you've done with the place wow way to change it up oh my god I love what you've done with the place this place looking like Trashville so you enjoy fighting pirates. Uh, Marco Jansen sent me his family's in dire financial straits and needs your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now we go for the second one. No, not one bit. I enjoy surviving fighting pirates. Mm. Big difference. Okay, so I have to ask, say this no matter what. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Oh. Damon should have told me. Her and Marco are so damn proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any scratch your back, feelings, scratch you. I could resume doing business there. I'd set of up course. stick up as ass Marco as my official importer. Of then course. wins all around. Alright. What did you do? What happened? I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor, and he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. Mm. We had some words, maybe one oh. got lip, not mine, and now I'm persona non grata. Damn. And you know, you, you help out one powerful guy, and then the next thing you know, you're in trouble. Uh, it happens. Two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. We might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. There we go. I like that. So, so credits? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh. You know, let's, let's spice things up. I might talk with the mayor, yo. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the yoo-hoo out there. Don't, Margot don't ever say that again. You. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Okay, so we just gotta go back and get her access. It shouldn't be hard. If I can't find your ship. It is allowing me to fly the ship. Um, let me just put that good old save in here real quick. You know, low key, low key. All right. So, oh. Nice. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Gonna need all of that. Sorry, your shit's too good in here. Had to take. Alright, so we gotta Hi. play politics now. Chance Prince never really was the best at this, but hey, you know. You can teach a old dog new tricks. Ooh, hold up, back it up. Back, back, back it up. Hey. Alright, here we go. This is free 
Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Do I have contraband? I don't think so. I think I do. That's all we need. You're clear for landing at a I was thinking city. too much. I was like, holy shit, I think I should have contraband. Actually, uh, since we're landing here, we definitely need to make the move on the, uh, the yeah, we, we definitely need to make a move for the, uh, ship docks, ship docks, that's not it. Ship, ship engineer, ship engineers, why am I making up words? Look for the mechanics that work on ships. Maybe sell us some uh, ship parts where we're freshly out of those. And not one in sight. Look at that. I thought this was a civilized place. I didn't know we're back in a. Uh, 1899. Alright, looks like a. Oh, there we go. Ship service. Exactly what we need. Hey, yo, I need some help. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Heat leech? Heat leeches? Got anything you the need to space offload? Trade authorities always buy. Kiosk right here for you. Damn, dude. A thousand book credits for a ship repairs? AMS. Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as new. All right, yeah. Give me some I'm actual sure like, ship you parts, like. please. What is this? No. Come on, man. Okay, no problem. Because you don't sell any parts that can help me out. Like you don't have any anything at all like that. Rip with it. Oh, okay then. Hey, Andre, I need you to move. Move. I'm doing too much here. But it looks like I have no choice. Let's either make it or only some weapons. Alright. Hey, what can I do for you? Whatever. I'm sure you can find something you like. Holy shit. Look at the money though. Look how much it cost. It's it's a C class too. Yeah. Don't worry, the, the the Falcon will save the day for me. It'll be glorious. Remembers, okay. But Ranger, ooh. I think I already bought the I think I already bought the ship, actually. I think I bought the sure. ship How about and it? it's just held up for me. Is that is that correct? Yup, I already have the ship ready, ready to go. Look at that. It's just sitting there, waiting to be blown out into the skies. The space. Alright, uh you know I was I was dipping around for no reason. Let's go, Andrea. Wait, What, saw that fake news? No, not me. What are you talking about? Private sector. That's what it's real like. NPCs be NPCs. My family was on the first ship. I will say this though. These guys have a lot better fashion sense than Neon. Neon was out of control, looking like a Willy Wonka factory. Did I not do this already? What are we? What are we? What are we doing? Ah yes, yes, we're talking to the mayor, right, right, right. The uh Yeah yeah, Elias, yeah, yeah, so Bro. The finest folk in the settled systems make that. He's telling me that she she beat you up, is that what happened? Is that the story here? I thought for sure Sahar Hasanov would have left a will. Or something. I uh, he's, he's still worried about that. Let me play the world's smallest violin. Get that shit out of here. Give me permission. Get 
her permission to work here again. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would you want to let her back here? Why? Because I'll be more of a menace to you if you don't. How about that? Is she really that bad? Come on in. Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. You don't even know? I mean, she ran cargo for me for years. I even considered her a friend. But she stabbed me in the back. Not how I heard well, it. Not literally. But I swore to keep her banned for life. If we help her, her family, the Jansons, might escape starving to death. What? Oh, that, that's terrible. It is terrible, yeah. I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. Uh-oh. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off her bounty... How much? I can't stop her from coming back. How much? But we'll be watching her. How? Five thousand bucks a little bit too high for my my taste. Let me think about it. Yeah. Do me a favor and <laughs> just drop it, okay? No. Because I need to take drugs in the game. All right, all right, all right. Before we before we partake in the drugs, we gotta wear the drug clothing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. All right, now where are them good old uh, acid shits? I don't know. Stuff that uh, helps out with persuasion. Look at that. One percent persuasion chance for five minutes. Love to see. It. Oh wait a minute. If you pay her back. Her bounty. Everyone deserves a second chance, my guy. Come on. I'd like to think it's that, just one but... punch in the face. All she did was smuggle some some stuff. That's all she did. Little small detail, okay? What's the problem here? Come on, man. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, paranoid. Dad, exactly. Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. I'll be the uh -oh. judge of that. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sure we can work something out. Okay. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so too, yes, indeed, indeed. Hmm. Let's, let's play it safe. I'm glad you're starting to come to see my uh, point of view. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Indeed, indeed. Look, sorry, I'm new. Probably haven't met yet. That's this makes no sense. Why is this too? Yeah, yeah. This I makes remember no now. Sense. What? This really is against my better judgment. But fine, she can come back. <sighs> I need. Was that so hard? Come on. I said you'd be fine. He'd be fine. Grab out of here. Oh, is she, is she here? Wait, is she... Did she just get back here? Like, it's, she says that she's on this planet. I hope, I'm hoping it's not pointing to my ship. There's the unknown guard will venture outside the city. We asked her to come Holy shit, she actually just... She just came back. Who gave her the notice? She came back pretty damn quick. Hey, hold up. Oh, no, okay. This is someone else. Hey, yo, good news. Milena contacted me. 
She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Yeah, uh, money, please. Give Melina a chance. She's fun. <laughs> My problem with her hasn't been whether she's good company, but I'll try. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. 8,000 credits? Nice. Yeah. Uh, enough distractions from that shit. I think it's time for us to do some cringe. Uh, Y'all see what I'm about to do in a few moments here. I, I regret everything. I wish it hadn't come to this, but uh, the Vanguard. United Colonies Vanguard. Boy Scout losers. Wanna be heroes. Overall, not my cup of tea, but I have to do it. I have to. I got dreams. And for these dreams to happen, I gotta make some if sacrifices. What the hell? We talk. Hello. More talking? Andre, what's going on here? No, actually, no, hold on, hold on. We, we, we won't talk just yet. But let's talk with uh, with some light. Uh, is this a good spot? Nah, a little bit, a little bit more lighting. Maybe inside the building. Yeah, so that uh, everyone can hear our private conversation. If we can avoid entering that building, I would prefer it. Let us just say I am allergic to bureaucracy. Allergic? All right, I don't wish to discuss with you. you know, we, we're going to discuss them right now in here, in the building you hate. Oh, yes. Hold if on. you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. Uh, I don't talk to you. Okay. Actually, let's talk over here. Got some couches and shit. All right. Andre, you want to sit down? This is a porn conversation, right? We're just gonna be uh, acting weird. You wanna, you wanna take a seat? I'll talk to you sitting down. I have been curious. Uh oh. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. Indeed. But that experience does not demand that you stay. Mm. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? Look her asking these questions. Oh, we actually got some options. Uh, it means something. It's a problem with fun. What? It's, it's a group of good people. They need my help. No. I love good mystery. Saying Scooby Doo. There isn't much else going on this week. There's a lot going on. I can't, can't lie about that. Damn, all these answers are kind of lame. Uh, I don't really care that's important. I, I don't care about the, you know what? We got some good people, I guess, even though Mateo has a whack ass hat. There are more. Let me, let me, let me talk, let me cook. They are dedicated in their cause. This is rare and admirable, I they, think. like you're not a part My of this. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Are you going to talk about your parents? Or what's, what's going on? You've got to have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. What is this dialogue? <laughs> I think having goals is important. Hopefully you can leave a little time for fun too. Yeah, 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 there you go. Why is Constellation meaningful to you? You know what? Might as well. This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. 
That is impressive on its own. Before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken. The possibilities it holds. And the, the potential one has to be in a group. Hey, no, that's actually a great dream. Like that that's actually like a lot of people's goals to unite fellow members of society that come from all parts of different branches. United to work on goals that's only possible with their skill sets. But uh yeah, uh save some time for fun, I cha cha. Fun is not a consideration. I am not saying I am incapable now. of it, it just should never be a priority over other things. Uh. When I first came to New Atlantis, Jeez, I was shocked shit, at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. So, I guess you'd rather be a robot than getting shot at every day. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I want to hear about your experience. How are they different? Come on. There is no struggle to survive here. No great risk in daily life. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have seen for yourself that is not the case for much of the settled systems. Hostile environments, dangerous creatures, not to mention the threats posed by other humans. Those None damn pesky humans. These people. <laughs> you think people need a show to live? Uh, there's no way to know what someone else is going through. It's also true, but yeah, what's up with your experience? Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose you don't say. cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. Feeling sorry for yourself. Never helped anyone. Dad, there you go. These are the dialogues I'm looking for. I'm not gonna be dickheading in. So yeah, I am sorry for saying sorry. I am not asking for pity. Yeah. I have done what is necessary to bear my yeah. burdens. And it has led me here. F my sorry. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United See, Colonies. She's not telling or me the Free Star what's Collective. going on. My parents and their parents before them did not believe anyone Cold. outside our Cold. family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. I want to choose this one, but she ain't going to tell me. I guarantee you she's not going to tell me the real answer. Uh, I don't know if she even wanted to get along by herself. I mean, she's out here with us now, so I'm assuming that either she changed up, or she never wanted to be in the, in the first place. Uh, you know what? I got to ask. They believed and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. Potential threat My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, she was definitely a selfish person. She's like, I survived with this. Uh... I mean, I wouldn't pick that lifestyle. Choice had nothing to do with it. Not right, for me. Go. But looking back, I understand their concern. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, yeah, thank you for the conversation. Guess what we learned about her? Absolutely nothing. 
you mean is your family independent? Mm -hmm. What's your family group? I've n I've not heard a single ounce of actual answer. You know what though? It's whatever. It's whatever. Yo, uh, the fan girl. Look at this boy scout group. Uh, uh, hello, good sir. I'm here to help the community. Hey, Sarah's friend. Uh, you come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the vanguard? I said, Sarah's friend. Oh, hold on a second. If that's the case, Sarah, you're getting your ass. I'm dragging your ass in here. Hold a second. Pause. Sarah? Sir, get in here. Get, get in here. Andrea had her uh, her moment with me. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is is that how the saying goes? Maybe, maybe Andrea. It doesn't matter now. I'm a. Uh, I'm giving you the boot. Where are you What's at? What's new? I'm listening. Whatever. Can I just switch with you? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, what? I don't know where to begin. What the fuck? The Starborn's technology Shit. is I wasn't ready for this. astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. I wasn't ready for this. I, I didn't want this conversation. Fortress I just wanted you for some vanguard losers. You mean nice to the crew too? Yeah, not to the chase. Of course. You seem uh, pretty shaken up about us the almost getting murked off by better uh, don't you always folks. Say don't listen to yes, <laughs> I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You I, do I understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. But they're like, don't touch our artifacts, you children. You don't know what you're touching. You smell what the artifacts are cooking. They sound like you admire them. Oh, I do. More than you'll ever know. Oh, wow. It can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? Mm. What aren't they telling us? Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the actual goal? Uh... Yeah, we need, we need some sort of, like, talk with them. This is getting crazy. I mean, they got level 30 ships out here. We can't be fighting those. I feel exactly the same way. But it certainly sounded like they weren't willing to work with us at all. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. Well, you know, I got questions. How well do you know the Vanguard uh, insides? What the hell? <laughs> Sorry about that. Seems like my phone wasn't charging at all. That's great. Uh, I think they're time travelers. I think they're angels. I think there's some alien life form. Well, I don't want time travel in my game. And angels, this is a this is a sci-fi game, so we're going alien. Obviously, but there has to be more Obviously. of these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there, something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the possibly, case may be, possibly. I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Or die trying. I right, should make every uh, effort to learn about these beings. We should be cautious. Whatever they are, we should stay out of their way. If you had to guess, why do you think they call us so storable? Let's peek into Sarah's mind. Mm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. 
Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. So basically, we have no idea what we're talking about, who they are, what they want. Good talk, Sarah. How's it going, Dive? Hope you're doing well. But uh, let's be cautious. To a degree, yes. Every bit of degree. exploration comes with inherent risk. If we continue to avoid life's mysteries, we'll barely make progress as a species. Uh oh. There we go. Sarah's getting, getting too into this. You want a full blown conversation with these folks. I just don't want you to get hurt. Nah. Oh. Every step of the way to the end of the line. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. But hopefully your day's been good, Dad, though. They held Mine's been secret. pretty alright. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering. And I need to hear what they have to say. Huh? Why do they add this cringe? <laughs> this cringe right in room. Oh my god. Just don't go risking your life to learn a secret. I have a few things I love to whisper in your ear right now. Yikes. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> no, I'm getting pretty cozy in this spot. I'm still not really used to the bed I was given. It's just still feeling kind of hard. But uh, besides that, uh, yeah, I'm liking the place. I'm liking the you place. You in deep thought or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm in deep thought on whispering sweet nothings to your ear, Sarah. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think of me that way, there's a time and a place for that sort of talk. This is definitely not my fault. Well writing. then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. One of the most valuable. Just join the team, one Never of the mind. most valuable. Sorry. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Do you have a long conversation, uh, Barrett? I have to talk about the Starborn. Oh, fuck. Do you have a second? You do, right? <laughs> Everybody's got something to say about these bastards. Yeah, what do you think about it, Barrett? It was awesome. Oh, my God. Who wrote this? Awesome. I'm, I'm still in shock, TBH. I already evaluated us for hallucinations or other types of chemical filters, and I found nothing. It oh, could be the nothing. dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Barrett's out here losing his mind. I swear the expressions look as if a skinwalker's trying to do them. <laughs> Yeah, this guy, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the about the expressions. Definitely aliens, time travelers, but just a super advanced ship from one of them, from one of the, one of the factions out there. Nah, it's aliens. Well, they were definitely unusual, but aliens seem so inhuman. Obviously, I just have so many questions. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Oh, so this man already trying to like wheel him and deal him, trying to fade him, fade him out, fish him out. Oh, let's just collect some artifacts. They'll be coming our way. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know. Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction or some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do 
All we know is that they Concealing wanted that hands. artifact badly. I haven't heard that in a minute. They look so extra. And they gotta, they have to, you know, pop out. They have to, you know, they have, they have to stand out. These, these NPCs only have a few moments of action time. Let's see. Uh, Starborn seem like fancy thieves. We need to know their motives, their ideas. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Yeah, that's Cap. We're going to be seeing them for sure. You know, I'm shitting on Starfield. Everyone, everyone shits on Starfield. Every time I'm, I'm on the internet, at least. Okay, uh, Andre just having appeared. a good day. Okay, Sam, I know you you have some stuff about our alien friends, something? right? Late at night in dive bars. Sometimes the old timers share stories. What? About things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starbone. Yeah, here we go. I knew it. But they're real. Honest to God, real. Hey man. This is a big ass universe. You'd be crazy not to think they're not real. Well, you carry on for centuries of exploration, and you can fool yourself into thinking this like that. Out. Clearly, we know. What the? So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's oh, gonna be thinking aliens. Take off my ship. Maybe not. Their ships weren't. Okay, I'm officially removing that. I swear. Okay, toxic. Okay. Fine. I'm kicking this man off Incredible. the ship. But they for still felt being a baloney. Like ships. They had engines, weapons. I think I even made out a grab drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more alien, you know? Blessed I mean, is he who in the name of C10. charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Amen. Amen. I need my mouth. If it's, if it's not a cursed mouth, then what kind of mouth is it? <laughs> but I don't know. Let's, okay, cowboy. Uh, I was, uh, was going to curse you out till next Tuesday, but I don't have that choice anymore. Uh, so we were going to say that the uh, Starborn seem alien. Yeah. I mean, you might be right. Green, green guys. I'm gonna throw in another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical: centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler, but they go way, oh. way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, and their Bro, science just his snowballs from me. there. I can see them getting further, <laughs> faster. Yeah, Sam's talking to a wall, but his daughter is just looking at his back. Like, look at that. And hence, become the Starborn. <laughs> what is the C? <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh no. That's. Yeah, it sounds sounds possible, Sam. That that could be it. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. One steak way or the dinner. other, we are not alone. You and tell your daughter's uh, teleportation. <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. Here. Oh, there she is. Okay, hey, kid. Want to hear a joke? Oh my god. Okay. No, nope, shut, shut, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hello there. Yes. Yeah, Starborn, woohoo. Worried? No, I think it's fascinating. 
I know they maybe seem scary at first, but what if it's just a threat display? You know how lots of species will threat puff themselves display. up or show yeah. off their teeth and growl to scare off anything they don't like. I mean, like a porcupine. <laughs> Usual Bethesda stuff, yeah, yeah, nothing new here, folks. Hey, moving along. Uh, let's see. Uh, just you know, bad first impressions. You 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 know, come out of nowhere saying, "Hey, don't be collecting those artifacts." You kid, give us a little slap in the face. The level thirty ships. Yeah, in charge. but all sorts of people say my dad makes a bad impression, and he gets by just fine. Uh -huh. Sure sounds oh like we God, haven't seen scary. the last of them, so I guess we'll see what happens. Why is he so close to us? Can you, can you tell your dad to move? <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah, do your dad, you and your dad this go everywhere. This is getting a little weird. A little weird? For me? You gotta be kidding me. Yup. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes. And fix things aboard. And use the intercom oh, and everything. I just have to... See myself... Uh, see myself in chat that does a clip. Don't mind if I take a peek. He's just looking at his back. Like, look at that. And hence become a star boy <laughs> what is the C but his dog oh jeez hey no I think uh beside well nah I was gonna say like actual Bethesda should go and try for a horror game you know keep all their bugs in have that be uh part of the uh part of the world with all these other great games, the same. Promise uh, not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says uh, when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol. And once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. It's good to be on the boat. The lodge gets stuffy sometimes. Yeah, uh, sure, damn. You know, that, kid, that kid just blew me so badly, like I just, I just stopped. I was like, okay, all right. I want this kid out of here. Sam, I might have to kick you out. <laughs> First she was going off about haikus at the very beginning. And then she was staring at the back, teleported. It's, it's getting too weird in here. Also, is this the right place where we're here, right? New Atlantis, yep. No, shit, I need I think it's been five minutes. <laughs> I think it's been five minutes, so I'm okay. Maybe. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. Andrea, you're coming along. What the? It's over! It's all over! <laughs> I thought that shit come in. No, it's been five minutes. It's definitely been five minutes. It's okay. <laughs> I've destroyed us all. It's all over but the crowd. Alright, off we go. Oh yeah, I died. Uh, you know about uh, Death Stranding, right? Heard yes, about it. Beat me. Played it, maybe. Uh, this way, up there. Oh no, that wasn't from uh, Cyberpunk. That was, uh, I think that was something from uh, WWE. I think, yeah. I think it was from uh, wrestling. Okay, you know about the game? 
well, uh, toxic guided. You want to play, you know, something new and unique. I played it quite a bit ago. Welcome back. And here to finally take your shot at joining the right. Vanguard. This French guy. The Vanguard. So, yeah, that's how. So we're playing, or he got Death Stranding. He was downloading it now. I was telling him how it's a beautiful walking simulator. And I was actually putting some hours into it. Like, so I still have my file. Oh, oh he's, look, we're playing it right now. What do you think of it so far? <laughs> but yeah, let me. Let's get the, you know, the 411 about Vanguards. Good? Nice, nice. We're the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Uh, this guy, uh, Van Gurden, uh, playing some zombies, noise, noise. Prepare for the long winter. Actually, a co-worker of mine was uh, talking about Seven Days to Die. About that game, when it's seven days, a uh, big massive horde comes in, apparently. Uh, he, he's all about the, uh, the survival genre. So yeah, why do I want to do some Boy Scout work here? What's going on? Well. Other than becoming a member of the greatest faction in the galaxy, you'd get access yeah. to discounted services on any UC world. Credits to help you get on your feet. You'd even be able to buy property right here in New Atlantis. Citizenship unlocks it all. And signing up for the Vanguard is the fastest way to earn it. So I should sign up just to be a citizen, huh? I don't know. It sounds like sign up for the army. And uh, what am I doing? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the science division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. And you have to join Wherever these guys. The, Jesus, the Vanguard uh, is there. Sigh. <laughs> yeah, you said the same thing before. But you're right about that, though. It, it, it is like that. Uh, sadly, I'm game. I have no other option. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. Yeah, you said, you, like, uh, you said it looked like... You said it was the same game, and he said, um... I don't think, uh, I think the one thing you didn't mention before was the dialogue interface. You said like their expressions, their faces were like the same when they were talking, but um, the dialogue interface, you're right though. It does go like in a top down list and you get to choose. But I think in that game, you had more options to say some other stuff than this game, which is pretty sick. But uh, gotta do training for Vanguard, is that what I heard? Where's, what am I doing? Where's this train? Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Look, look at that UC badge on my mission board. Get it out of here. I don't want to see it. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, actually, no. If we're, if we're doing this, let me change it to my drip. Okay? We need, we need to look pimpin'. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Strike. Yeah. All right. Up we go. Down we go. Wherever we go, training time. 
Hey, I'm a new guy here to sign up. You know, just sign up for uh, what the hell? Oh wow, auto sign in. Yep, I guess doing it myself. Uh, registry. Yep, yep. Uh, oh my God, look at that. Got my name on here and everything. By joining the United Colonies Vanguard, you agreed to perform necessary service for the United Colonies that could place you in serious danger, resulting in harm to your craft or yourself up to and including death. Oh boy, yep, I agree. I mean, I, gaming, gaming's kind of lost its soul. Like, like the, the soul is still there, but a lot of it is gone. I mean, I don't like the UC any more than the next guy, but they've got the credits. You enlisting too? Look at this. I've always wanted to live in I just wanted money. They only let citizens buy property, so here I am. So a lot of these people in the faction just want, you know, censorship, want to live. Oh, oh, the end of Earth. Oh, hello. Oh. I'm actually pretty curious about this. Humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation. Sacrifices. A, new kind of courage, a lot of sacrifices. A new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. Okay, I thought they'd be more, more about Earth, the beginnings but of the United Colonies. what the hell? Tremendous undertaking. What is up with Andrea here? She's like, I don't like this, folks. Look at this propaganda. And you got a point, but still. How many more do we have with this? You thought. I'm out. Oh, hello. Hey. Not too bad, actually. Oh, how much is it? I said how much. But I should have been saying, it's going to take you. Oh, hey, yo, hey, hey. got that same drip. Uh, uh, hopefully, the sequel is going to be out soon. One of the best games for me since uh, you like your vampires. Take all my money. Uh, if you ever played Infamous 2, I believe, yeah. If you played Infamous 2, there was a great like vampire DLC for it. I forgot what it was called. I forgot the DLC name of it. Like, it's pretty much you, the main character Cole, does some new uh, conduit showed up, and he has like vampire like ish like kind of powers. So you're kind of like taking that, I think. And I think it's a different, like completely different story. Like, I think like it's an like, actual like big what if. Yeah, that I think that might be the case. But other than, uh, you know, I don't really know many vampire games, actually. There, there are way too much history here. I'm out of here. You know it was some UC general that condemned Londinian? Gave it over to these All four of my One last One of these murals said he was executed wars. after the war. Whoa, Might whoa. have gotten off too lightly. Everybody here talking. Hold up a second. Andre, you, you good? Spin around. And more of a prototype fanboy. Our fan more edgy. There is Vampire. Oh, Vampire. Vampire. I remember I remember hearing about that game coming out. But that's it. Okay. 
guess you become a vampire and try not to miss your true nature while also being but second fiend. So you try to keep your humanity while at the same time surviving as a vampire. I'm about to check that out. How big is this place? Like, we've just been going through the whole, like, what, history museum? There, there's one reason why I'm doing this. My pilot license. Welcome, applicant, to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. Here it is. Here it is, folks. You could not pay me enough to get in one of those things. Well, I'm, just, I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it for me. Watch out, let me in, let me in. Having to do a surgery and you have to resist the temptation of second blood. Oh. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant. Gotta save this man's Currently life. In orbit around a high detail no. recreation of a remote blood world. Looking. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Now, I think that like that would be like my final chapter of going to like hospitals if my doctor's getting like hot for my blood, then it just starts sucking it. Nope. Gone. Out of out of there. GG. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. What we're doing here is cheating. Basically, I need to destroy 15 ships to level up my uh, pilot skills. But they never said I can't destroy fake simulated sh uh, ships. So here we are. We're just gonna be, you know, shooting these bitches down. Oh man, this is a slow ass ship. New targets active. Oh, God damn. Also, a good practice for me to just be serious. Ah, I am going to go in and 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 go you want to cling on to the old self or cling on to the Cindy suit. But damn, the gameplay for that game. Like, like it's amazing that uh, oh, this is now. I'm just amazed that there's like another game like it again. It ain't like all that in the back chips. I mean, the story and the characters come back. Can you control a Spider-Man? Mm, you feel like a you feel like a Spider-Man. So I have to do that. This should be really tier three reached. Congratulations, applicant. You have defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You can now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score. Or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Nah, we, we got more, we got more. Come on. 
nine ships destroyed. That gets 15, buddy. So when it says to stop shooting, damn, no, I actually have to leave. Come on, come on, y'all. Let, let me in. Let me stay in. Holy, I can't check it. Let me stay in. Yeah, here we go. We start that shit. There was some uh, hacks going on, you know, it was it was unfair. I feel like I need a rematch. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. I'm trying to be here forever now. Come on, just send them out on the uh not level 40, please. Oh, 26. Nice. So we can do this again. So as you can see, that I'm totally not good at this. Ships. I'm, I'm trying to cheat here. Okay, can I leave the action and then come back in? I don't want to do the same tier. But, F it. Okay. 
I've been uh, slacking, so let's get rid of the grab. We don't need no grab. Increase laser and ballistic. Who the hell's behind me already? Alright, so boosting my weapon is a great idea. Look at that. He's already dead. He's already dead. Nothing I can do. Just give me an engine, bro. Just give me an engine. Has anyone seen this right now? Alright, thanks for I got two. I can't even use my engine. I know when I've lost, don't worry. Uh, your current passing score will be rewarded, but uh, all processing simulator will be lost. Uh, yeah, no. Yep. Because you, you know why? Come back in. Low tier, baby. Speak to who? Congratulations, applicant. You passed. I passed? What do you mean? I'm fine. I, I've passed. Passed these nuts. I'm going back on. <laughs> You're that level one swag. Welcome back. The goal of this examination back, remains indeed. the same. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting, applicant. All right. Here we go. Show me the weak sauce of level one ship. New targets active. Level 32? Hey, better than 46. Dig done. There it is. 15 ships done. Alright. Tier 1 reached. Then, then get out of this chair. Time to walk the old dust trail. All right, I'm out. Peace out. Later, losers. Now it's time for me to level up. Thirty ships, bruh. Come on now. Thirty ships. You know, I might actually just maybe like, you know, one day in the morning, maybe I'll just grind this. This doesn't even need to be streamed. Just going to the simulation, defeating three ships. But hey, since we got the new, uh, you know, class class B pilot, you know, we're, we're going to walk out with style, flex some muscles. What's up? What's up? Uh, I got my shit. Right, let's uh, finish this uh, training because uh, uh, I started it. I might as well finish it. Commander, it's slow. Oh, jeez. What is this? Uh, one, two, real scout, one, you know, yes. high honor. You you know, I got my badges. Oh, you're not, you're not, uh, 
Well, look who's back. I heard. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed to answer Oh, no, first? Tuala. So I was going to you. Wow, I thought... I thought, thought, thought it was a girl. My bad. Yeah, I did that thing. And I'm back here. What's going on? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Uh, I passed. It doesn't matter. Make a snack. Time's wasted for me to be earning some credit. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Then let's get to him. So, looking at the data, mm -hmm. checked out a few of the murals. Good. Inquisitive folks tend to do well around here. Psychological results are all within expected so it levels. Checked out a few. I checked Maybe out doesn't one. have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier four, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. If I had any reservations about flying with you, they are now gone. Well done. Oh wow! So, yeah. I'm looking at your results as thank a you for whole, not in presuming me. you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only ten years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments, but your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. Ten years can be a long time. You must be certain it is something you actually care about. Yeah. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on Do our you hands. have Vanguard material you're in your hands? If you're interested, we can bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, Ten years. Though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. Oh, really? So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? <laughs> Can we do this under the table? Um, I need a little time first, actually. I understand. It's a big decision. Think about it. Come back when you're ready. And I'm never coming back again. Later, loser. Just one of your pilot simulation. <laughs> Got good, 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 got him. All right, now that we took, you that know, the skills. Quite a leap. Who are you talking about? Sometimes I just. That was nothing. Anyway, I don't know what she's smoking. Why don't we smoking at a Class B new ship? Falcon. Put uh, an extra crew member in there. I think it's finally time to put in Vasco. He's the only constellation the member we don't have. Break. I do not like being in small enclosed spaces with the many people I do not know. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's been he's been at the uh, hideout for quite a bit. I feel bad for him, sort of. Either we can bring Vasco along, finally, or my adorn a fan. And you know, he's been out of the game for quite a bit. I think it's I think it's just I think it's right to bring him in. This ugly ass shit, not anymore. Get this shit out of here. I want it gone. Oh, wait, no, I should be talking to, uh, Shipmaster or whatever. You, right? Anything I can help you? Need some work done? I'm gonna need to switch them up. Okay, no problem. Ah, look at him. Rare to fly. Like a uh, ship home. Boom. All right. Now, what do we have rocking here? We got laser cannon and a missile. Ooh. Ooh okay. Okay. We already got some good shit going on here. Let's not change anything. Let's fly it natural. And then once we've gained a good test ride, then we can go around and start, you know. Causing damage, making business. Holy shit! Look at this ride. How we flying, baby? I earned this. I earned this. One more thing we do need to do, though. I don't know if we can do it here or yep, the crew. So, so Sarah's on ship. Sam's on ship. Barrett's on ship. 
all constellation. So you either have Vasco or Doran Fan. Of course, you have Heather and Lynn, those two asshole miners that are with us at the beginning of the game. But uh, I think. I want to do this, but I feel like it might be a bad idea. Wait, two out of five? What do you mean, two out of five? Oh, Andrea is on. Oh, okay, because I have to get everyone on the ship. That's cool. Okay, that makes sense. Falcon, Falcon. Holy shit, on. I might. Wait, Sam's on the ship. Star is on the ship. So that's one, two, three. Oh, I guess she doesn't count because she's a companion, right? If that's the case. Then Vasco, my buddy, hooked them in. Oh, you have reached the maximum number of. Wait a minute. You have reached the maximum number of crew assignments. With your current ship command level. Current sh current ship command level? What, is, what does that mean? He's saying I can't put any more folks in? Nani? Current ship command. Ship command? What the hell is that? You tell me I can't put in a full because of my ship command what the hell is this game no what is that ship command nah someone's gotta tell me what that is that's some bullshit what what is what is ship command Wow, so I did all this just to get blocked by ship command. Let's check out the ship first. But no, but who who's actually signed on this? Uh Andrea Barrett. Sam Sarah. And that's it. So the people we had before, I know we can put in more of them. I just don't understand that. Yeah, what the hell? That was ship command. Is that? It doesn't seem like a different skill. Like I must be missing something. I don't know. Let's check out this new ship, though. Ooh. Okay. Okay. What's going on in here on the Falcon? Is that the second floor? I hear you've been making yourself Yo. on the ship, Cora. I have, Dad. I want to be as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, Strictly. I'm proud of you. What do you say we get you a new outfit next time we're planet side? Okay, okay. It's like a fully uh, lived in place. I didn't do any of this, but hey, I'm so proud of it. it took quite a bit when finally flying a bigger ship. Now we just gotta find out uh, what the ship command level is. That's some, that's some actual bullshit. And, and, oh hey, what's up? Sam, don't, don't scare me like that. Look at, look at us. Look at us upgrading. All right. Yeah. Cockpit's here, okay. You know what? I've accomplished the goal today of being the Falcon, you order to ride it. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna stop here. You know, another two hour adventure in Storefield. Sorry, no longer. But it be like that. Alright, here we 
are done. Next time, I swear, next time we're actually going to do some, some actual like story content, maybe. If not story content, definitely faction missions for sure. Well, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna hit the hay. It's been fun, folks. Thank you everyone for coming on in, checking out the outcast. Y'all stay blessed. Stay you, stay safe, take care.